a beautiful challenging and a simple question from CET. Let us solve this using shortcut in seconds. After that, the explanation. Let me give solution in two different ways. Okay, shall we start? Two simple harmonic motions are represented by y1 equal to y2 equal to the ratio of their amplitudes 5 by 5 1 is to 1 is not the answer that is the common mistake now 5 5 root 3 5 into 2 by 5 so it is 2 is to 1 so 2 is to 1 is the answer how to use this method what is the reason behind using this method okay conceptual wise see let me take 5 inside so it is 5 sin 5 root 3 sin and there is no 5 here isn't it there is no 5 done when there is sin function and cos function phase difference is pi by 2 90 degree now what is the resultant amplitude means resultant amplitude is given by root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos phi. So this is the equation for resultant amplitude. Now if this is sine function cos function therefore phase difference equal to pi by 2 phase difference between sine and cos. Cos pi by 2 0 so this is 0 this is root of a square phi square plus second is phi root 3 phi root 3 square equal to 5 5 5 root of 1 square 1 root 3 square 3 1 plus 3 4 under root 2 so it is 2 10 so amplitude of this first is 10 that is this amplitude of second is 5 therefore it is 2 is to 1 so this is one explanation using equation now let us use one more method which you have already learned in alternating current that is using phasers okay now observe there is 5 sine 5 sine sine phasor should be along x axis so this is 5 next 5 root 3 cos cos should be along positive y axis this is 5 root 3 now complete the parallelogram draw the diagonal 5 5 root 3 that gives 10 isn't it done now amplitude of this equation is 10 amplitude of second equation is 5 so it is 2 is to 1 see using phasors using resultant amplitude when two waves or two oscillations superpose two oscillations superpose means with this plus so this is how we can get so that is why as soon as we see this equation 5 sin 5 root 3 cos 5 5 root 3 with pi by 2 means it is 10 second is 5 ratio is 2 is to 1 do you want to learn such shortcuts with explanation then go to google play store our class download our class you will see two courses one is on ct pyq neat pyq so subscribe and you will be surprised with content as well as the price okay so the price is not to burn your pocket prepare confidently a particle executing a simple harmonic motion has a period six seconds the time taken by the particle to move from the mean position to half the amplitude starting from the mean position half the amplitude starting from the mean position so what is the answer means 6 second divided by 12 it is 1 by 2 second 
let us see how it is so this is an eccentric method eccentric means unusual not classical method unusual method means the where we use usually equations but we are not using equations a simple harmonic oscillation so let me draw this wave one oscillation time period is six second so time period equal to six second okay done now understand this part time taken by the particle to move from the mean position to half of the amplitude this is the mean position this is the amplitude half of the amplitude means here this is half of the amplitude a by 2 a by 2 so this is a by 2 half of the amplitude is obtained at 30 degree if mean position is at 0 then half of the amplitude is at 30 what's the difference of these two 0 and 30 30 degree t time period corresponds to 360 degree this t is 6 seconds is it it we want 30 degree interval 30 degree interval means divide this by 12 that's how we can get 30 divide this by 12 what is 6 by 12 1 by 2 in half a second the particle will go from mean position to half of the amplitude mean position to half of the amplitude what did i do i observed this t second six seconds time period after that mean position to half of the amplitude when i was reading half of the amplitude was coming to my mind 0 to 30 so that 30 degree interval is 1 12th of 360 1 12th of 360 so that's why now one more method regular method using equation let us use y equal to a sin omega t a sin omega t okay now displacement mean position means displacement is zero amplitude is a sin omega is what is omega 2 pi by capital t 2 pi by capital t into t now we have to solve for this t1 a cannot be zero therefore sine should be zero sine zero means this whole thing should be equated to zero so 2 pi by 2 pi by capital t is 6 second into t1 is equal to zero this implies t1 should be equal to zero right now second case when displacement is half of the amplitude in place of displacement let me write amplitude by 2 amplitude by 2 equal to same equation same equation a sine omega is 2 pi by 6 t is t2 a get cancels half sine inverse of half is 30 degree 30 degree is pi by 6 equal to 2 pi by 6 into t2 now 6 get cancels pi get cancels t2 equal to half t2 equal to half now what's the time interval difference of these two difference of these two is delta t equal to t2 minus t1 this is t2 this is t1 t2 minus t1 is half minus zero equal to half the circular motion of a particle with constant speed circular motion with constant speed periodic but not simple harmonic simple harmonic but not periodic no periodic also simple harmonic neither no it is periodic it repeats or visits the same place after regular intervals of time at the same time this is not simple harmonic means this is not to and from motion 
if you don't analyze the options properly then you are in trouble so make sure that you take little extra time for conceptual questions okay a particle executes simple harmonic motion with amplitude 0.2 meter amplitude and time period 24 second done time required for it to move from the mean position to 0 0.1 0 0.2 is amplitude so this is amplitude by 2 amplitude to mean position to amplitude by 2 means 30 degree 30 degree is by 12 time period is 24 by 12 it is 2 second one more time use graph this is the oscillation time period equal to 24 second amplitude is 0.2 meter time period time required to move from mean position this is the mean position this time period is sorry time interval is t1 time instant is t1 0 next position to 0 0.1 meter 0 0.1 meter means here is 0 0.1 meter 0 0.1 meter so this is t2 t2 is for 30 degree sine graph right sine 30 is half that's why half of the amplitude means 30 degree t2 is 30 interval 0 to 30 30 degree 30 degree is 360 by 12 360 degree is 2 pi radian 2 pi radian time taken is 24 hour 24 hour by 12 is 2 second A 10 kg metal block is attached to a spring of spring constant. The block is displaced from the equilibrium position by 10 cm. So displacement is 10 cm and released. The maximum acceleration of the block is maximum acceleration. Spring simple harmonic motion, isn't it? Spring simple harmonic motion. In the case of spring, m omega square is k spring constant is m omega square okay done now maximum acceleration acceleration is minus omega square displacement acceleration in simple harmonic motion so maximum acceleration means like this equal to omega square this should be a amplitude see there is omega square instead of omega square we have k so omega square equal to k by m so this equation becomes k by m a maximum acceleration k is k is 1000 m is mass attached 10 kg into a amplitude is 10 centimeter 10 centimeter 0.1 meter so this is 0 0.1 meter 100.1 is 10 10 meter per second square 10 meter per second square so there are two concepts m omega square is k acceleration is this maximum acceleration when displacement is maximum when displacement is maximum. Mm -hmm.